Thank you for joining the City of San Luis Obispo's presentation on information regarding Measure G20, Community Services and Investment. I'm here today to provide information on Measure G20 and how it can help maintain essential community services and investment now and into the future. I'm going to talk about the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic on our community and the city's ability to deliver essential services and maintain our infrastructure. That is incredibly important to our prosperity and economic recovery. Our number one goal is San Luis Obispo's economic stability, recovery, and resiliency, and Measure G20 is a part of that effort. Over the past four years, we have conducted a top-to-bottom audit of the level of essential services and infrastructure needs. Informed by countless hours of community input on ways we can maintain San Luis Obispo's unique character and quality of life. Through this effort, a financial gap has emerged between what the city can provide and what the community values most. And the needs have only grown with the economic impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. These impacts threaten our ability to maintain our level of service for community safety and emergency response. Providing programs that retain local businesses, address homelessness, protect open space and natural areas will be challenged with a significant reduction in city revenues. Our community is 165 years old with aging roads, sidewalks and community facilities. Investment in community services and our infrastructure can put dollars back into our local economy and catalyze our recovery efforts. We have a responsibility to invest now in our community that supports residents, local businesses, and future generations to maintain San Luis Obispo's unique character. Healthy cities don't happen by accident. They happen through partnerships, good planning, management, and action to invest into the community's top priorities. Here's the official measure being placed on the November 3rd ballot. It includes the top priorities identified by the community. City of San Luis Obispo Community Services slash Investment shall an ordinance to provide funding to protect City of San Luis Obispo's financial stability and maintain fire slash community safety, health emergency slash disaster preparedness, protect creeks from pollution, address homelessness, keep public areas clean slash safe, retain local businesses, maintain youth slash senior services, streets, open space slash natural areas, and other general services by extending voter approved funding at a 1.5 cent rate, providing approximately 21,600,000 annually until ended by voters, requiring audits slash all funds used locally be adopted. Similar to the social impacts of COVID-19 on our community, the economic impacts to the city's ability to deliver essential services to the community is being challenged. We are not alone. All across our county, state, and nation, local governments are facing a revenue gap due to declining revenues and the ability to deliver the programs, services, and projects communities value most. This graph shows how the city's general fund avenues, which support public safety, fire, emergency response and communities programs like childcare support our local workforce have significantly declined. We are now facing a revenue gap of $6.5 million in 2020, $8.6 million in 2021, and $5.9 million in 2022. To offset the decline in revenue, the city has implemented our fiscal health contingency plan that immediately placed a hiring, purchasing, and travel chill. To balance the budget, the city reduced its operating and capital budget, froze vacant positions, suspended city programs, and furloughed over 200 temporary employees. These reductions will have impacts on the level of services to the community and the city's ability to maintain our infrastructure. With the impacts of COVID-19, the city's top priority in 2020 to 2021 is the safe and thoughtful reopening and retention of local businesses restarting the local economy and planning for future resiliency. Based upon public engagement with residents, community groups, online surveys, focus groups, and two independent statistically valid surveys, the following priorities were identified by the community and are included in the ballot measure language. Maintain fire slash community safety response, prepare for health and disaster emergencies, protect creeks from pollution, address homelessness, keep public areas clean slash safe, 
Retain local businesses. Maintain youth slash senior services. Maintain streets and other infrastructure. Preserve open space slash natural areas. Measure G20 can provide an additional source of revenue we control, which is needed for local services and investment. No money can be taken by the county, Sacramento, or DC. Include strict account accountability requirements, including independent citizen oversight, annual independent financial audits, performance reports, and it does not apply to prescription medications or food purchased at groceries. Based upon a statistically valid survey conducted by an independent polling firm in June 2020 of registered voters in San Luis Obispo, 71% of respondents would initially vote yes on a measure to extend Measure G at a 1.5 cent rate. San Luis Obispo Chamber of Commerce and Downtown Slow were supportive of the placement of this measure on the November 2020 ballot for voter consideration. In addition to the information regarding Measure G20, I wanted to point out some changes to the November statewide election. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the November election will be different from previous ones. All registered voters will be mailed a ballot approximately 29 days before Election Day. Your ballot must be postmarked on or before Election Day and received by the Elections Division by November 6, 2020. You can drop your ballot to any drop box in the county by 8 p.m. on Election Day. If you are not registered to vote, you register online at registertovote.ca.gov. Measure G20 can help maintain essential community services and investment in our community. To learn more, please visit slowcity.org measure hyphen 20.